Hello, hello, Hero Collectors here. How's it going, everybody? Hope y'all are doing fantastic. I know I am, and today we're going to be cracking open this retro-carded Avengers card Quicksilver figure that's a Walmart exclusive. I just got it in on order. In fact, I, I ordered it yesterday, and it's already in today. And all you retro card lovers, look away, because we're just going to rip on open into this, and we'll get the figure out of the tray. Okay, and here he is, liking, him, liking the look of him so far. My camera seems to make the green a little bit more dull than it is. It's quite, like, not vibrant, but just more proper green. So, I don't know what's going on there. Let's so we'll crack him open. Really excited to get this guy. This is a look I've been hoping to get. It'll help round out my brotherhood display so let's get this camera angled down okay let's see if we can refocus maybe get a little bit brighter okay so here he is he's on the modified basically pinless sunfire mold let's get all his joints worked out okay Ooh, that's a nice shiny crisp paint on the uh boots or i guess it's not paint it's a mold just looks really nice on those let's see this one okay let's do splits but yeah i got this guy because while i do have the blue suit quicksilver this one will be going in my brotherhood display and the blue one will be going in my avengers display and if we ever get another blue quicksilver i will put one with x factor so Lots of places for Quicksilver. In fact, if they ever do some other costumes, they can go in, like, Uncanny Avengers and a few other places. So, I'm just fine getting multiple Quicksilvers for the collection, but I only need one green one, I think. So there's that. There's the elbow. Got these weird, kind of smallish open hands for him. I don't like those. And let's get that. And boom. Right there. Did I do that? Okay, bicep. So far, so good. I think the only joint I'm not enjoying is that thigh cut. It seems a little gummy in there. So there's that. Face is looking really good. That's a really good digital face print. It's actually really nice. You can even see the blue in the pupils. That's crazy. But, okay, let's get the fist going. Those... Okay. So, I guess this is going to be kind of a quick one. Uh, let's just do a little comparison of him next to his blue costume. As you can see, it's basically the same design, just kind of different colors. He's got the pearlescent white here instead of the, the bright white. I do kind of wish this one had the brighter white. And then, I don't think this is a bad uh, face sculpt or face paint at all, but this one definitely blows this one out of the water. I, see there oh this one's got a peg hole in the back this one doesn't interesting i don't know what's really changed okay let's do a quick swap and just see how that ooh, looks oh there that looks pretty good maybe i should have gotten the second one i thought about it but end up not doing it just because i don't have a use for the body but okay that is oh there Okay, so there is the blue costume again. Here's the green one, and let's bring in his sister Wanda. And those look pretty good together. Of course, love a good Wanda figure. And while this one probably needs an update, I don't think it pairs too badly with this Pietro, even though this is my Avengers look for her, and not the. I have the Family Matters one on my brotherhood shelf and I just couldn't pull her out because she would have knocked some figures over. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking it, liking the figure so far. I really like the color green here. It's, I, I don't want to say vibrant and I don't want to say cartoony, but it's very comic booky in a way. Like I don't, I can't describe exactly. It just fits really well for the, the figure here. And because I don't really care for these hands, they're not good for running poses. I saw that some people were taking the zero flat hands, which he should have come with, in all honesty. But taking those 
and plugging them on this figure. Oh, I didn't notice that. This fist has some some strange scuff marks on the inside. So there's that. And yeah, not quite the right... The whites are just ever so slightly off. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but... So let's... Let's get him into a running pose. Because that's what Quicksilver does. And you gotta do some good running poses. I mean, he even is in a running pose with these flat hands on the box, or on the, the card for this figure, so... There he is. Zooming about. And brighten that up just ever so slightly. There he is. There he is. Sorry. Whoops. I <laughs> didn't mean to do that, but gotta have fun with your figures sometime. So yeah. Uh, so far, liking this guy. He's He looks really good. I like this head sculpt. And the I think the color choices on here are really good. Okay, there he just... Let's get it to a stop. And yeah, I'm just very glad to have a green suited Quicksilver. Okay, maybe he's kind of zoom, made a big jump or something. I don't know. Maybe that's a good good running pose. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I this is one that I was, was definitely wanting. I think I had it on a couple wish lists at one point and. You know, to have it here now is pretty great. And, yeah, I'm just enjoying posing him. So there he is. Like, mark, set, go kind of deal. Yeah, I like it. So he is going to be going with my brotherhood after I take pictures and, of course, do a review. It's a little bit shorter of an unboxing video, but still very happy to share with you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed, and I will talk to you all in another video, another post, another time. There it goes.